what is the requirement for a system software and lot more so friends before knowing system software we will know about software what a software is or software you can also call as computer software uh, specifically so a computer software or simply we can call it as a software is that part of a computer system that consist of encoded information or computer instruction so software are simply some computer instructions now we will know about the type of software so basically there are two main type of software first one is system software second one is application software or we can call it as application programs now friends we will know about system software what is system software system software is a type of computer program that is designed to run a computer's hardware and application program so friends system software is actually a computer program and system software is designed to run computer's hardware and application program so system software can run the computer hardware also it helps in running application programs here we see that computer system software it is the interface between the hardware and user applications so system software provide an interface that is it act as an intermediate between hardware computer hardware and application program and uh, as an example of system software we have operating system it is the best example of system software which every computing machine should have that is operating system like our computers for uh, windows that is windows we have windows operating system or other examples of operating systems are unix operating system mac operating systems similarly the other examples of system software are compilers loaders debuggers we will study one by one later in this tutorial now one more important point friends system software are machine dependent it is very important to note that system software depend on machine whatever machine you are using to run the system software it depends totally on that machine architecture so before running any system software we must careful we must be careful about the machines on which we are running the system software and we have not we have noted here that computer so software that is uh, user software you application programs are assisted by system software so now we'll study about the second type of software that is application software unlike system software an application program performs a particular function for the user means friends here our application program is a speak as specifically deal with one single kind of problem that is solution of some problem using the computer as a tool our user program or we can say user software or application software it focus on particular application or we can say solution of a particular problem using computer as a tool our application program use computer as a tool and focus on the application not on the computing system so our application software have no relation with the computing system directly but our system software have direct relation with the computing system that is machine dependency so system software is highly dependence on machine or machine architecture which we are using examples of system software are we have already seen operating systems compilers loaders and debuggers similarly examples of application software are browsers all browsers are user software or we can say application programs games games also video games which we play are application programs word processor pdf readers they all are application programs 
one important note friends there are some aspects of system software that do not directly depend upon the type of computing system being supported as i told previously that all the system software are highly machine dependent but there are some aspects of system software that do not directly depend upon the type of computer system being supported for example the general design of and logic of assembler that is basically the same on most of the computers so this is the other aspect of system software where we see that some of the aspects of system software do not directly depend upon the type of computing system now friends we will study in the later section of this tutorial about system software and machine architecture specifically and uh, one of the sub topic is simplified instructional computer that is sic and sic with extra equipments here xe xe stands for extra equipments machine architecture as i told earlier that system software are machine dependent so as we study system software we also need to study the machine architecture because it is machine dependable so in the later section of our tutorial we will study about simplified instructional computer that is sic computer and sic bar xc that is sic with extra equipments machine architecture also we will study about the different type of system software as we stated earlier that the distant different type of system software are assemblers loaders operating systems compilers and macro processors again in the later section we will discuss about text editors which is also a kind of system software and in the, at the last part we will discuss about some software engineering issues so friends thanks for watching this videos please do subscribe for latest video tutorials and lot more visit our website vishesgyan.in thanks for watching